This is Jeremy with Easy Coordinator, and this video is going to explain how to use your advanced task functionality in order to set up default due dates on your task lists. So let's start by clicking into the admin section, and we'll click on task lists. And you'll see now next to every single task that you have in your system, you're going to have the option to set a preset default due date. So you'll enter the number of days, you'll select before or after, and then you'll select the relevant date that you want uh, to use to calculate that due date. Then you'll click the Save button. So once you've got those set up, you can then go into a transaction. And I'm going to click the Edit button just to change some of the dates in here. So it'll recalculate for us. This one here, and we'll click save. And so the system's going to save it, and then we're going to go down to our task section and take a look at those dates, which are now going to be calculated based on what we set up in our admin section. So you're going to see now that all of these dates have due dates associated with them, and these have been calculated from the dates that I set up in the admin section. This is one of the task lists that I set up. And these dates are also going to show on my calendar. So it'll show me the date that these tasks are due on my calendar up here as well. Just a side note, for older transactions that you're adding default due dates to, if you've already entered date information, what you may have to do is click the edit button and open it up and then hit the save button. And that'll allow the system to recalculate it. This is only for older transactions. It should not be an issue on any new transactions that you add. But this is the way to get those dates to apply to older transactions that you might have already entered into the system. And that's how you use the advanced due date functionality.